What is up, crazy fam? Guys, listen up. After watching today's video, you're gonna be destroying bosses in Remnant 2. There are three things that puts this DPS build into a league of its own. Number one, high damage. Number two, deal weak spot damage no matter what kind of enemy you're fighting. And number three, mastering the rotations. And we are going to talk about the rotations separately. And I will show you guys how you can increase your DPS. But first, let's break down the build. So why is this weapon so good? This is the only weapon in the game that can turn any boss, all of the boss, by the way, into a huge weak spot. So as long as long as you're playing it right, you're consistently dealing weak spot damage. Now, in order to make this whole build work, there's a few things that we're going to need to combine. The first thing you're going to be running on the weapon itself is the supercharger. Increases charge speed for bows and fusion rifles by 30%. That's huge. And on level 10, charged primary shots of bows and fusion rifles gain 15% critical chance. So you pretty much have that up all the time. Now, for all the people that don't know how this weapon works, it's pretty simple. As long as you have the mod you activate it and then you have three swords that rotate around you and every time you perform a melee attack you will launch one of the swords at the enemy turning them into a huge weak spot we're going to be combining the hunter's shroud with the one and only bullet storm this combination all in all is just extremely powerful and makes the seat even better than it already is for the relic we're going to be running shielded heart you guys know this is one of my favorite relics in the game that shield adds a lot of survivability and on top of that we're going to be using ranged crit chance weak spot damage and ranged crit damage for the armor we're going for the space samurai look i absolutely love this look i'm not gonna lie and for the jewelry we're gonna start off with ank of power grants 15 percent increase to all damage assuming your relic doubles the bonus for 15 seconds and since we're running the shielded heart we're gonna be popping this a lot of the time simply to keep the shield up as long as possible now the rings is where it gets really interesting Farron's sigil is one of the most important ones in order to take the dps to the next level and we're going to talk about that here in a minute so let's take a look critical hits and weak spot hits generate 10 percent additional mod power this is very very important since we're going to be dealing weak spot damage 24 7 there's no reason to not use this ring next up on the list is archer's crest increases projectile speed by 20 percent and decreases weapon charge time by 25 percent this gives you the ability to shoot even more shots while while the enemy is a huge weak spot target and the last two is going to be probability cord just to get that critical damage up by 30 percent in combination with a ring of flawed beauty so why do you want to run firen's sigil it's very simple actually let me showcase this so you guys get a better understanding of how all of this works so let's say we start the dps phase right use the mod here we use our hunter skill gunslinger we throw the mod once, boom, and then you can start DPSing. This is usually what people do, right? The problem with this is that you're going to fall off on DPS because of the reload that is happening. So in the first burst DPS phase, if we can find a way to skip the reload, that will up our DPS by a lot. Now I'm going to show you a tip that makes that actually possible thanks to the Farron's Ring. So what you want to do is instead of throwing one sword from your mod, you want to throw all of them and the reason is very simple guys thanks to the ring and the amount of weak spot damage we do we're gonna be charging our mod up pretty much right away so as soon as you're done with your six shots you can reload your weapon by activating the mod once again i'm gonna pop my mod we're gonna throw all of it start dpsing mod is back we pop it again and just keep going so you guys see how much of a difference it makes. And right away, we already have another full stack of swords that I can just throw at the enemy and keep dealing that weak spot damage. For the traits, Fortify, Swiftness, Untouchable at level 3, because those were the kind of the leftover points. Then we have Vigor, Spirit, Expertise, and finally, Fitness. All of these are maxed out. So yeah, in my opinion, this is easily an S-tier build that every single one of you guys should hop into the game and start working towards. Make the set 
setup, master the rotations, and you'll see right away how much easier the boss fights will become. I also have some other really cool builds on the channel. We got a space samurai setup and some other really cool ones, so make sure to check them out. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. If you guys did enjoy this video, and only if you did, slap the like button, subscribe to the channel. Guys, thank you for all the love. The channel has been growing like crazy, and thanks to you guys, I'm able to do what I love and take care of my family, and for that, I will forever be grateful. So thank you once again. As always, ladies and gents, never forget to share that positive energy all around. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. I mean, we literally have the best community of all time. Oh! Oh, we got no scopes!